everyone, citizens of the internet and stuff sitting at home. More random live stuff to watch here, supporting me in this miserable uh, Linux regression, open source situation uh, stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, yesterday's live stream surprised so many people watched it. I did already hear more with uh, actually P3 still here, but different ca camera angle. We have so much to fix. So basically everything I recently touched and upgraded broke and is regress. It's so annoying. It's, I really honestly, I really start to get depressive. It cannot be you upgrade, you update file, it breaks. You update UDEF, of course. Well, after a decade of, I know why I didn't touch this UDEF stuff for a decade because then you know, it's totally broken. I'm already booted here. Uh, my precious little Sony PS3 USB stick. Um, yeah, so the ISO boots, but yeah, UDEF is totally broken. So um, I tried to debug this already. So another hour before the live stream because UDEF is like so broken, it's it's beyond. Nah. Um, and this is also why, beside all the support deleted for ancient, amazing vintage retro systems in Linux kernel like Spark Station and um, other fun stuff. Um, yeah, even the other stuff. Yeah, so more random live stuff to support me and I hope you learn something. Certainly probably sit at home anyway and have nothing to do. So thanks for watching, sharing and liking, liking and subscribing here in all our worldwide self-quarantine. And yeah, certainly a nice time anyway to enjoy with friends and families and do some open source and open hardware work. Honestly, I have to say I would rather do some nice fun little FPGA stuff here a risk five modern stuff because it's a difference or microkernel but um yeah i overloaded you already with fpga and microkernel stuff and uh, yeah p3 fans demands their attention and what is so depressive so the rsx stuff is depressive enough so you need to re re reverse reverse engineer all the nvidia secrets and then um, on top of this it's not doing something new it's working with this up and done breaking linux open source stuff so yeah um, and this is why, so not only microkernel, because we had probably enough of this breaking Linux and BSD stuff for decades now. And so, yeah, also doing your own modern stuff is so much more fulfilling because here you only look at other people's failing garbage. And instead of, yeah, doing your own successful, uh, creative, innovative stuff. Long story short, you, you see the next failure. I fixed already a couple of other stuff including the so building cross compiling and t2 for any architecture p3 sg octane and stuff much less error prone already um, most of the stuff working now and um, uh, so one of the few, few stuff so uh, for uh, one thing so this this i will touch but we will so uh, you see um, um, some uh, was it here unsupported um, i think it was like unsupported iocTL so um, like python shared file stuff fixed so but, but there are a couple of more regressions so we fixed previously python pearl to cross compile and again it doesn't cross compile because of python something so if you want to support me and you sit at home and have nothing to do maybe you can download t2 and fix Perl and python cross compiling because uh, i will not touch this yeah anyway not that we get our channel here censored with too many f words um so yeah, let's touch. So what I'm doing here is I'm now building also um, AMD64 build. So that would be something like this here, which um, I across probably in the var ADM because I want to test this UDEF stuff in QEMU. This is certainly much faster than trying to do that in, actually I could very theoretically, could I, actually we could, we could try something else. So probably this will be a long stream and probably you want to share a like and subscribe now already before people tune out here. Uh, we can actually try to run this. I, I tried to run this in QEMU um, with Power V, uh, Power PC, and V, non like Power PC non virtualized, and um, something else didn't work. Uh, was it P series? Probably P series. Yeah. So whatever boot stuff is there with um, incompatible firmware stuff. So anyway, let's get started. Maybe we try to directly boot the kernel in the RD in a second with QEMU. Um, this is a P3 one. Um, with, with P series without the CD bootable stuff, but first uh, get this build going. So always so much to fix, but yeah, not making this stuff up. I, I can't even fix 
Red Hats and Suzes and Debian's breakage here faster than, than, than the breaks and stuff. But certainly they have enough developers to constantly break this shit. And yeah, so uh, let's touch this log. So touch this here of a uh, file, but we will debug this. The same happened. Um, hello, where are we even for ADM log? Zero file, our T2 maintenance stuff. So let's continue this build that we have something to test. And then let's um, build this here because here I also touched the log file just some hour ago because, and yeah, whatever. Um, and um, yeah, let's see what strange stuff is going on here. So let's see if we have, I also probably need to move my tempered glass case. I sometimes hit it here with my hand here with a touch ball also not there. Anyway, so let's get into there. And of course we built with tempfs, so PowerPC 64, 32 config without tempfs because uh, but probably this is in the meantime also wasting so much of my time, this temp, tempfs enablement and stuff. Probably I really have to invent and, and write up a shell scripted option there to have this tempfs uh, like on, on failure, cop copy it out of tempfs and um, for, for greatest debugging fidelity or actually simply an option, but simply an option to um, maybe not unmount tempfs or anyway. So yeah, let's um, let's see here. Yes, I really wonder what this strange stuff is. Uh, you probably, if you're a recurring subscriber, you might have seen this already in a previous stream. I think, let's see, the last time it was like, yeah, bad system collect. What, I really wonder what freaking heck can this stuff do, uh, like file magic stuff? Well, one thing, theoretically, it could mix in PowerPC with because this is bootstrapping a tool chain. Um, so yeah, uh, in, in 20 years of all the garbage I've seen, I've not never seen bad system call up, at least that, not, not that I remember. Also, yeah, 2020 normal normal programs should just compile normal C code, but yeah, they somehow arrive at um, bad system call because yeah. Also, citrus, um, citrus, uh, honey, uh, hot water stuff because immune system. But maybe later we grab something stronger like a coffee. Um, why not keep tempfs around all the time? Yeah, because when we implemented this a decade ago, the systems had like 500 with megabyte memory. But um, and also, if you build like 3,000 packages and 100 or 1,000 of them fails, eventually you even run out of 64 gigabyte. Um, actually, maybe maybe we even have an option. Not sure. Do we have an option to um, maybe? Uh, hmm. Yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, um, feel free to send some patches in. That also brings me so yeah as usual super busy stream um, because heavy multitasking that's what we're doing. Also on the T2 mailing list SCSI John sent in here some um, autogen something updates um, and so we probably also should actually autogen this was uh, also yeah fun stuff and um, maybe only send this, send this stuff in when you're done and not like similar slightly modified um, thing. Um, and um, actually apparently not updated. So the thing is they had here, so th this patch I will actually not apply. Um, I will apply, I think he had before a patch of, um, because he found a newer version on some Debian server, but I'm not applying here the Debian um, version. I think earlier he sent here slightly newer Autogen data, okay, whatever. Um, yeah, not best practice, not. But this is also the level of uh, what I need to um, educate here. Educate here, like that you learn something at home. Um, not the best style of. Although, I, as much as I appreciate that, probably they have the ed editor configured to remove trailing white space. It's not the worst practice, however. Um, if our stuff is generating it like this, and uh, maybe also as much as I appreciate trailing white space removal, um, maybe not this, this excessively. Also, theoretically, I probably could change our copyright stuff here to already generate it like this. Maybe actually we do this. So you see, super lot stuff. So, so basically, if you do open source, you are the whole day busy just communicating, patching, testing, and not earning a cent with it. So. Probably not the best practice in terms of how to make a living. Anyway, 
So let's uh, quickly apply this. That is what we usually also should probably position this here slightly more. Actually, I'm not I'm not rocking a cool retro term today. That is probably not ideal. Um, but whatever. So let's. Oh yeah, so if you're some. So dry run x with p zero um, because now the issue is when so first of all we need to download it so that not not the super best practice with out the checksum also which I mean people who use T2 should know this in the meantime that um, they could even run commit for example autogen this would actually uh, what not changes detected what. Ah, we have run this with dry run for that test. Um, commit, of course, only. Wait a second, did they touch the prior? Why? So, yeah, they updated and put it there. So, yeah, as a maintainer, always be where the random changes. Also, no parallel. Maybe we can get rid of this. Um, never mix this unrelated changes stuff, either updated or um, whatever, but not one with the other. Um, also, by the way, if they would know this autogen, this update script, then this would download it and patch it instantly. So, so much to that. Um, but script, so this would be copy patch internally, create copy patch. Let's see if maybe we oops, copy, maybe we just to avoid this random changes in the future, where is even the template for that? Mm. This copyright node. Oh, here, this copyright node is auto generated. Um, so, T2 rock copyright node. SN, where do we have so much? Okay, maybe we focus on here something ASCII. So, copy. Okay, so this is be probably because. Okay, probably I don't change it for now then. It's too much changes or whatever. And anyway, this uh, our own, yeah, actually our own stuff flags this even as trailing white space. Maybe another day. It's a little bit more involved of just tagging stuff, but no. Yeah. So, of course, we should test this first. For this, we have reference job five autogen, I think it was. And then we take a look. But in general, uh, except this minor nitpicking, um, uh, of course, highly appreciate it. Even if I need to polish it a little bit, uh, it was a little bit delayed here because I'm so busy with fixing, hunting all my other, my own regressions. That was already lingering, lingering some days on the. Yeah, also customers, uh, you are, you, you ask, you, you commercial. I mean, is it half of? Well, I mean, I, I could basically make a video, uh, stupid questions for 100. And, and communication, you ask your you customer something, and like, first of all, half of the questions are complete random garbage, and and second of all, and then you ask the cu the customer something like, hey, this and that, and the customer answers, oh, I don't know, I haven't tried, should I try it? Question mark. Like, yeah, you could also have tried it instead of answering this email because we know I answer the next email like, yeah, please try it. So, oh, can't make this stuff up. Uh, so workaround disable like seccom for firewood seriously? Are you freaking kidding me? Uh, also yeah, 2020 uh, file needs lib seccom. Um, so it's auto gen. Uh, Google, please verify that Google is installed. Are you freaking kidding me? Do we not have this? Cool and store. We have it installed. What is the issue with that stuff? Uh, only live on this channel. Auto again update fails due to Google Jewel. Google, um, no Google Jewel. How to even pronounce this stuff? And the funny is, you read it for for years, but you never think how to pronounce it. It's hilarious. Um, it obviously is installed. Not sure why this stuff doesn't find it. Clearly there, though. So, well, actually, maybe it's too new, though. Fun stuff. Maybe it doesn't support 
Okay, so much to quickly updating this from the mailing list. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, but um, in, in theory, it should not even really fail. Why would this fail with slip seccomp? Uh, but thanks for the tip. Um, so that would be... Maybe it's mixing somehow PowerPC target with... Um, PowerPC uh, IOCTL definitions with... It's hilarious. Um, but it's an interesting tip. I mean, basically we don't really need this here for that part. If it has some um, configure, maybe this is a quick fix. Actually, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, disable the second point. It really has that default auto. Hmm. Maybe we just do it because, um, yeah, we could always debug this another day, but with so many issues all over the place, I'm also... All the compiler, nah, seriously, what the heck. Um, so basically this is toolchain, so if at stage toolchain, then more than that. Var z and That, let's see if that fixes the thing. Well, theoretically, maybe we could take a quick look how this even. I mean, certainly we still wait. Ah, I disabled control A. What is it now? Pearl garbage. Um, so, yeah, if, if someone could please fix Pearl, that would be highly appreciated. And uh, while at it, also maybe um, Python, because I'm really not. This is this, uh, unless I need it that urgent for something, then yeah. Well, it certainly builds into two, right? I mean, it just doesn't cross compile anymore because each update, each upstream stuff, they need to break something. Um, welcome, everyone. Could be a linker issue. Don't think T2 prefers target libdias over host. Don't think T2 prefers. Well, the issue is t t the, the linker and stuff prefers just many packages automatically inject dash hardcoded dash lib user lib in there, which we already remove. So our compiler wrapper should actually remove this. But um, yeah, certainly some packages try really hard to get there something in. Mr. Bunkes here sucks uh, bootstrap. Amazing stuff with your suck stuff. Um, this was no, this wasn't that one. We take one one final look before we close this here with loop seccomp in case it fixes something. Um, let's file. Does it even evolve? Make make opt. And yes, yeah, so this still results in this old magic. And let's run this like this. Let's let's s trace this. What is happening here with? S trace follow forks just in case open it magic header killed by hmm. killed rather quickly without much to see. Six system. Um, I wonder what does it have here in config h or something? Does it here? Does it have some kind of target or lipstick comp? Hmm. Yeah, really strange stuff. Anyway, this is not worth my time. So thanks for those tips. This certainly saved me quite some time in, uh, in, in case this fixes this. Let's test that. Um, maybe in the meantime, I probably had here also we can uh, close Kate. So file fixes that. Um, that uh, theoretically we could attribute you. Do I find your email if you want this? Or not, this was Motorola 68K, right? That was does Thunderbird 68. Motorola, not really. Only 
finds 68k maybe. So much to spend an extra minute trying to attribute people. Um, where I didn't even ask if they want this. When would this have been? Alternatively, you could also that page. Uh, well, it, Perl was already once upon a time set up to cross compile in T2, so this is a little bit quirked and patched. Um, so here is source kits. Okay, we can here also just theoretically put here the chat name. So theoretically, if you want your real name there, then uh, drop it there. Fixed, um, drop it by mail, can't find it instantly. Uh, fixed file tool chain by this um, the person as uh, the python build error is also uh, also we are not committing as data uh, i hope that was not visible um the, the the Python error is uh, simply the compiler is not prefix. Also, yeah, previously was compiling, and now you uh, thank you very much. Your compiler is not prefix with some host triplets. Like yeah, thank you very much. You could also just freaking compile. But some people try really hard. Some maintainers try really hard to work against. Actually, I try close this already. Um, so much to closing it already. Uh, there was also a second patch. I wonder this autogen is okay. The new package autogen diff autogen needs autogen conf to suit. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Google disk. So the issue is um, uh, it's somewhat uh, inconvenient to view stuff. This is why yeah, um, not as diff, right? It's, it's also. Uh, Two two seven why so we, we have a new GUIL already or not? Or is this not? Hmm. Two to six down date of what do they have? So they have yeah two to six down date. Certainly not very helpful. Um, For append enable shared certain rules, disable dependency tracking. Hmm. Template dear. Hmm. But enable shared, we should already pass them automatically. I think this anyway will not build. There's so much to why is stuff on the mailing list not processed. Um, if stuff just doesn't build, then it's also certainly not spent my time with this auto gen stuff with conflicting Google versions. Um, so, Chris. Kristen Ritter asks, watching the stream for the first time, can you share snapshots when you finish? Yeah, I want to share snapshots, but right now UDEV is so broken. Of course, as all the previous work is always shared on our download server. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not even, um, please um, send it in so that it also works for me because no. Um, otherwise, so in general, working on our open source build from source fully automated cross compile Linux distribution, raw vanilla open source like sushi um, and specifically still supporting amazing systems like the p3 and sg obtain so um, and unfortunately there's always when you update stuff so many regressions that you see you update stuff doesn't even build anymore and yeah wanted 
to do us a favor, update UDEF, and now UDEF is fully broken, so yeah. And yeah, so we are cross-compiling here brand new Linux from scratch, the latest and greatest, just for the sake of debugging. Um, just for the sake of actually we could, yeah, just for the sake of debugging what's broken with UDEF. Also, theoretically, we still need to update UDEF even more because I updated to just the last point really or tarball release. Now they don't even release it as a tarball anymore because systemd. Um, theoretically, I probably should configure UDEF so that it, it builds out of systemd with also systemd stuff um, like the gentle people are doing. Um, maybe I should um, uh, do that, however, if the feeling this will break even more. So I'm not really sure what is if, if it's the best to... But later you are always, um, afterwards and later you are always uh, more clever. So whatever we choose now, certainly later we will find the other way would have been better. And um, yeah, maybe, yeah, it's... But um, yeah, the problem is I could also just revert UDEF. The problem is also I mostly updated UDEF except with this insecurity news here on the other channel of all the uh, latest IT insecurity news stuff. Um, I wanted to be a better example of having more updated stuff, but then you update stuff and it Break. Also, fun fact, on this machine, SSD is uh, open, SSH is now broken. Oh, this is funny. Um, so the old version also uh, doesn't work with libguil anymore. Thank you very much for that fun stuff. So I um, wonder if that is a regression since we upgraded to Google. Also, yeah, I can't make this stuff up. You updated Google because latest and greatest, whatever. And uh, of course, some, some old stuff doesn't work anymore because now. Um, yeah, so this is for another day. So what else we can test, we can try to test um, what we built here. So not this and yeah, this is probably actually the, so this is super tiny for you, but probably YOLO. Um, we can actually, where do I have, we can mount this here, this ISO. This would be PowerPC something CD1. ISO to media and we can try what happens if so yeah I've run this didn't didn't do much because yeah incompatible architecture stuff and yes this is tiny for you but hopefully whatever and uh, yeah so this didn't didn't run well um, let's use here port let's have no idea what what will happen now let's take a piece here yes uh, like this probably and kernel from the loopback mounted CD ISO media boot vm linux and init rd media probably should have tried this what is all built doing Lay, of course a relatively quick cache in, in hopefully 30 minutes or so we should also have a x86 iso and then that uh, is of course faster and easier to test in qmo anyway init rd boot init rd let's see what happens there tcg whatever it's doing something. Um, so this is just the BIOS here, as you see, firmware, whatever. Um, building some device tree, booting Linux. Hey, and we, this even works. So at least this is something. Um, and it, so, so this is, so there you have it. If you want to, don't have a PS3 and want to play with PowerPC Linux for some reason, some emulator, this is, for example, how we could do it. discuss their editor. Um, so let's zoom to fit. Um, so yeah, the issue is, uh, so first of all, this looks slightly better than on the P3. On the P3, I got here all kinds of garbage scrolling by for some whatever reason. Um, and um, okay, this is also, so thank you very much. Um, keyboard is also not working for whatever reason. Um, so, yeah, that is an amazing control, oh, gee. amazing achievement. Let's see if we can make this maybe, uh, how was the serial STDIO or something. And let's see if we get a better scroll back on the serial console. 
Because the issue is this UDEF stuff is not working. Well, as you see, it didn't do much here anyway. And oops. Um, now we probably need to append some kernel command line because we still have this here in this frame buffer. Um, and due to that, we don't have scroll back. So the issue is, first of all, when I boot this on the PS3, I get here complete garbage printed, no idea why. Uh, maybe it's UDEF, uh, the usual. Uh, I know already that this UDEF is, has regressions. Um, probably we want to boot with append console equals ttys0. Let's see, that gives us a console in there. And um, yeah, can't make this stuff up. It's, it's so hilarious. Also, yeah, the recurring theme here. I would like to sit here and say everything is amazing, but in my opinion, this is a state of open source in 30 years. It's uncoordinated, breaking, constantly breaking each other's stuff. And um, yeah, I also really don't understand like this UDF people. Um, why do they need to change so much that each other release is broken so much uh, already decades ago? And now we boot here with serial console and don't have serial or what? Booting from Linux, so now we don't have much here. That is not amazing. TTY S zero, maybe we, maybe we don't have just this console in there. So yeah, it's of course not amazing. Um, so the issue is, so this of course makes it really hard to debug because we would need to have some kind of um, terminal. Can we, because if we would have, so yeah, file X MK not, well, there is not really an error of any sort, so it would certainly help to have some terminal to poke around there, but that's not what we are getting here, unfortunately. And also the same, I thought on the P3, we don't, I don't have a terminal to, to diagnose this stuff because uh, certainly if UDEF is not working, UDEF is also, the, the few things, funny enough, the, the UDEF version, the, the decade old UDEF version that was working, compared to the newer version has a feature removed of creating the device nodes. So the new version even less features. They even have in the news file a removal of uh, creation of device nodes using of def tempfs, the, the tempfs that automatically creates device nodes for all the um, built-in dynamic kernel device nodes. Um, in tempfs is now required because they removed, also yeah, new, you see already the issue, right? new UDEF version and removed feature of not creating device nodes anymore, amazing stuff, no, no, whatever. Um, so yeah, this is not really helpful. So well, both is not really helpful. We can only try, well, we could rebuild the kernel with some more serial and um, whatever serial it's using here. Does it print this yet? Actually, surprisingly enough, it has used B devices maybe yeah, so certainly I think the issue also certainly on the P3, on the on the real hardware, I'm not getting keyboard and mouse and similar to here certainly because we are uh, not having UDEF load the, the kernel drivers, which is also like, yeah, how they can break the stuff so much. It's And why you could always say, yeah, but your T2, first of all, UDEF was working for a decade. And well, I, I know why I didn't, I, I didn't update this because I saw it already incompatible, not compiling stuff, so yeah, whatever, it's better stuff to do. But um, yeah, why, why major, like major famous uh, celebrity developers need to constantly break the shit? I have no idea, it's, it's hilarious. So yeah, the same phenomenon here um, is, is, is similar in principle. You'd have not, most likely not loading the modules because yeah, whatever, YOLO. Um, could also actually be KMOD and the same, we, we changed it from, because on each live stream people were like, why are you still using module in tools and not KMODs? Like, yeah, it works for me, right? And you update two KMODs like, yeah, YOLO, whatever. KMOD doesn't work, UDEF doesn't work. Um, Cause could also be that, um, uh, that KMOD, that mod stuff doesn't build this uh, alias kernel module file stuff. Uh, it's, it's uh, so yeah, a, a short solution would actually be, I could theoretically change the Linux kernel config to build in like for a test compile in support for USB. Um, certainly I slightly wonder what um, serial ports is. Certainly we probably should compile in support 
for serial. Um, let's see, build PowerPC 6432 boot kconf and have here whatever serial. So, okay, thank you much for finding. So here's some serial. So the problem is with so many serial, which of this is in P series? Actually, we could maybe check if the kernel has a P config for that, a default config. Download mirror L Linux 5.8. What 5.8? Uh, are we at 558? We start to lose overview, probably 558. So yeah, it's always something. Um, so Linux, Arch, but um, yeah, as, as much as people like to see me struggling here, debugging this stuff and failing, uh, this is also why I so much more enjoy designing new stuff from scratch because I'm so sick and tired of this stuff. So P series is this, and do they have a serial in there? Because this is only 8250 actually console, nothing other fancy. Let's see, 8250, right? But we have that in there, so YOLO, whatever. Um, we could also for a test um, for a test we could build in USB stuff actually. Mr. Bonk is writing a full screen editor and assembler to RX32. So you're meaning my ULX3S uh, big project or? So Linux, RMFs, this, we are still compiling. So I think we are down, uh, by the way, of, of as many regressions we are dealing and fighting with. Um, at least we are in theory down of nearly only a handful of packages fail of cross-compiling T2 to other architectures. This is cross-compiled Perl, Python, because they always break it. We patch it up and they always break it. It's hilarious. It's like basically not, not only that they put zero efforts into having Perl and Python cross-compilable, like each time distributions like us, we, we fix it. They like invent some new regression of change of breaking it again. It's hilarious. Um, so, yeah, probably as this serial is not doing anything, probably um, also probably can close that. Probably the easiest is uh, to debug this either or we wait a minute. We could also just wait a minute to have, well, minute is relative for many. So yeah, Perl Python doesn't cross compile and then some XOR packages which theoretically Fun fact, we could, while we are waiting for it, try to fix. Well, one is SES, certainly I'm not fixing this SES driver stuff, although maybe it's already in some Git repository somewhere. Create error list config of PowerPC6432. So we have, um, oh, this is also the wrong one. We are talking this here, I think. Yeah, 239. Um, we could, while we wait for this build to test this, that is certainly the easiest uh, to see what happens with x86 and debug this in KVM accelerated QEMU. Um, what did I want to do? We wanted to ls build power PC 6432 var ADM logs and with size reverse of. So this is. Yeah, Linux is only because I accidentally rebuilt it and then I cancel this. This is not a real failure. Yeah, okay, Mesa, you also see uh, what does file fail the amazing packages of Perl, Python, uh, Ninja, and Mason because amazing build systems in 2020. And then here, FBDEF. So actually, only SES and FBDEF. Um, SBDEF is actually not too bad to have. Um, 
So we could actually see poor PC if we could quickly, we'll at least make it compile, maybe pull in some upstream patch. That would be XF16, video, FB, dev. Uh, and, um, Probably as seldom released as the Intel driver. So 05 also, yeah, XORG they can't even have their apparently maybe their FBDF driver in the yeah, last updated two years ago because it is 2000. So 2018. Let's see, see, get. Um, also, yeah, I, I really don't understand this, this, this famous upstream people like if I can't update something, it's like one man show here something, but yeah, FBDF, it's, it's, I have no words anymore. Um, for this set state. Uh, also, wrong, how many drop frames? And yeah, also, one point something drop frames. So let's see if there's something I last commit 14 months ago. Thank you very much. Update, configure, fix, um, fix build or when building Xbox server, build with Mason. When building with Xbox server, build with Mason. What the heck? Um, is this our fix? I have no idea. Let's import this and try if this fixes something. Hey, if XV, this looks like this. If with no expression, amazing stuff. Also, yeah, they have a fix there since, um, since uh, 2019. One year not released because why should they? But uh, anyway, let's, are you, often are you call this hotfix. Dot patch, so uh, also, oops. Let's see if this fixes something that would be, of course, but yeah, 2020 or 2018, even if they have XV, because now, hey, this fixes even something. I, at this rate, um, I wait for the day until T2 Links is the only Linux distribution left in, in working order. Um, I really wonder how are the distributions work here, but in any case, um, certainly we want a microkernel, right? Um, such a creepy software design, that's really hilarious. Imported CSX9 video, FBDF. Um, it's like server mason fix. Yeah, whatever commits the stuff. Yep, so what is our build doing? So, so that leaves us here with Python failing. Um, okay, this is funny. This is a little, yeah, this Python is so stupid it doesn't even notice that we're cross compiling. Um, Python. I think the error message for Perl was another one. Uh, for for PowerPC, for that, I think it was like host triplet something. We can actually, while we... Actually, you know what? Let's do something more more useful. Let's, um, instead of the Python stuff that we do not have a such high demand anyway, let's PowerPC64, let's change this to temporarily. Do we, maybe we... Oh, we have here this patch. Maybe is this fine or maybe? Huh? Forgot to commit this. Fixed or updated Spark Film 64 62-bit default patch. So that is package bin utility stuff. Looks good. Uh, So, so that would probably be somewhere in share, shared uh, USB. So that is uh, Linux common. Of course, I will not commit this because I like my kernel fully modular. But then let's make this here built in and this built in. This built in. And. There would be keyboard. 
Maybe we need this, not sure. Funny that we have... Why do we have this? Good old standard, not really, mm, whatever. Shouldn't really necessarily be built in anyway. XHCI, which there's our... Oh, do we not have XHCI here? What does that define even XHCI? KCON5. So that would be... Actually, this is PCI. No, whatever. Probably doesn't... Would it have? Does it have? Actually, not really sure, though. Hmm. Let's maybe put it there. What was this platform thing? This is just a hotfix quirk to see. I mean, very theoretically, we could even put storage in, but yeah, let's just leave it at this. The reason, of course, in, in general, it saves some memory if you don't have USB stuff on an old machine or in general, in my opinion, it's always nice to have this stuff reloadable. And yeah, Python, so this is... Uh, actually, Python also doesn't... What did I touch a second ago? Oh, I also touched this wrong. Um, yeah, which leaves three or so, says wish you could program, yeah, just watch this channel certainly all day and forever and certainly learn stuff. I also wonder, theoretically, I, I've certainly realized that many of my low-level videos of FPGA stuff are a little bit um, probably too in-depth already. Um, maybe I often, I try already often to explain stuff a little bit longer which certainly makes the live stream and videos also a little bit longer, but I certainly fully realize that for real educational content creation stuff, I could or should probably make dedicated videos of um, this is how processor works, this is how assembly machine language works, this is how C++ or uh, this is how C works, and maybe we do so in, in the future. Um, but uh, yeah, there's always only so much, but uh, certainly sharing, liking, and subscribing is a good start here. Uh, could quickly ask question Xbox here and run distro called Ubuntu and have 3D. What you could quickly ask me a question. I have an Xbox 360 here and I can run distro called Ubuntu and have to deacceleration P3 have two. I don't quite understand the question if you or doesn't have a driver. You mean acceleration for the P3 or how does it relate it to the Xbox? Uh, please clarify because otherwise... Uh, but in, in any case, Xbox and P3 are not compatible to mix and match there, so you cannot just run one or the other or something. Um, so yeah, Linux, we can uh, double check here. Let's... Before we... This is always a good thing to double check, not to wait otherwise on, on not amazing threat, less epic threat ripping machines like the 1350X. Um, just need to have my kind of balcony door. Oh, still it's a little bit fresh here. Um, always good to double check on a lesser machine, like on a whatever, like 386 or like a God, God forbidden uh, Intel CPU. As uh, this Linux kernel build would of course take much more longer, but in any case, even if you have something fast like the 39 MD 3950X, where it just takes a couple of minutes, it's always good to check what it's going on. So we can check here uh, XHCI. So okay, this is unfortunately uh, not built in. Let's see. So this here's a lot of stuff. Um, maybe also they have changed the symbol, unfortunately. Maybe it's not um, so much to this outdated name there. I just what was there with USB storage? Depends on SCSI. Also here, depends on, but maybe not a whole sentence here. But no. Um, So much double checking because then basically we can cancel this already instead of wasting CPU cycles. Kernel common this was here of oh, wait a second, did I not 
Oh, we had already this defined, but uh, let's check the other ones. So this was USB. Also soon to this um, channel. Um, probably we have to certainly implement USB ourselves here on on uh, the FPGA for our RISC-V project. Um, so the problem is so many human interface device stuff that which of those do we strictly need? Because we certainly need keyboard if we want to have any input keyboard is at least there. But this define is also not set. Did they rename that or what? I think this uh, probably we didn't have in there so much to hear. Even this config stuff they need to rename. So this was the previous, and in the meantime, there is even also. Um, yeah, so renamed and renamed of. Um, Again, not even sure if that is enough. Um, yeah, also Mason, we had this already. So very theoretically, if you want to help or we need to do it ourselves sometime soon, for best uh, results, we need to fix ourselves here Mason and Ninja cross compilation. This is not sure how amazing or probably not. This will probably be totally error prone and headache create creating stuff. Um, how far are we in here in create error list? Uh, also, this is wrong again. We want this here right now. 224 to go. But the rest should actually build, except maybe SES. We will see. So this is also the, the fun stuff. Um, so for first of all, I mean, one thing is here, live building. Um, also, maybe I should actually re rearrange the office. Certainly the cam camera graphy videography would look even nicer with better background if I built a mountain of uh, behind me of uh, Octanes and P3s and stuff, certainly fully aware of this, but between fixing this stuff, we also need to earn a living. Um, but second of all, at least this video um, nicely, quickly cross-compiling this stuff here. So in case you are into cross-compiling benchmarking on AMD Ryzen 1350X with a whopping 64 gigabyte of memory that we barely scratch. Fun fact, let's see the uh, uptime here actually of this thing. So this workstation up one day, uh, usually I shut it down for the night because energy savings, but last night I left the building power PC when I went home. So uptime uh, one day and although the cache here is still uh, mostly... Um, de oh, does it not have human readable? Oh, thank you very much. Um, so 64 gigabytes this should be minus whatever. So use 24 gigabyte with one day of uptime time of FPGA, Yosis, next PNR, a uh, couple of Chrome and Firefox and uh, cross compiling like crazy. And most of this stuff is, of course, certainly no program right now uses here so many gigabytes with black box and stuff. But from all the memory, nearly actually, uh, yeah, nearly most is actually <laughs> cached here. Uh, 20 gigabytes cached, um, not making this stuff up. So, yeah. Also, so, so, so certainly all of our built like this route of PowerPC and x86, this route fully cached here um, in the memory. But um, yeah, wish leave three writes, maybe get it reincarnated and will become a programmer. Oh, it's never too late to learn. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe just share, like, and subscribe, watch this stuff here, and hope you learn something. Um, and this is, of course, very like programming. A lot of programming will, while we are waiting, of course, the uh, um, getting started of programming is, of course, um, everything is logic, like sequential logic. So it's usually this boils down to logic, like sequential, sequential logic and mathematics. So it's like if something, then something else, um, whatever the syntax might be, uh, in shell it's something, in C it's something else, and uh, also without typo. 
Um, and otherwise, if you're some very able, you know, very rush through just to motivate you to um, get started and learn something for you at home, then of course mathematics like some very able let like let something uh, be equal of uh, a plus b divided by whatever, and then of course logical bit operations of bit and and or and not in x or n stuff. But certainly I fully realize I probably should make some getting started stuff. Welcome everyone, Christian there, forced to stay at home to... Um, yeah, actually this is a little bit clickbait, uh, fully aware, and certainly need some clickbait titles here of BuzzFeed kind of stuff. Not forced to stay at home, also legally, this is the office, so I walked some block here from home to office, but right now we are not yet in Germany legally required to stay home. Um, so yeah, but in any case, certainly many of you are, and um, in, in any case, certainly good shout out to maybe learn something, self-education, contribute to your favorite open source or open hardware stuff. Uh, also, by the way, fun fact, saying we should actually check if we know cross -co uh, hard compiled. This was EHCI. So now we built this in apparently, although still not XHCI. Also, yeah, all this stuff is now HCD stuff, and now th this is PCI because probably whatever. But uh, XH, where is twin? Why is this not building in when we have here XH? CI, okay, whatever. Probably it's not XHCI anyway. Um, human media. But uh, if I'm, if we are eventually forced, although in, in Berlin this stuff doesn't look that bad yet, uh, 200 something cases, I think, maybe 250 if I recall correctly. Um, in any case, um, Dietard had Corona, took eight days to recover. Man, that sucks. Welcome back, was missing you already. Um, nice to see you back, so how bad was it for you? Was it mild or how mild or bad was it? Um, I saw that someone in Japan got it a second time from this cruise ship. Uh, also, it cross compiles for power PC but breaks for... Can't make this stuff up, are you freaking kidding me? Oh, such a garbage. Uh, this makes me so so depressive and frustrated. How can this, this shit still, still fail, including... No such file directory, how could this not be there? This is hilarious. Um, yeah, builds for cross compiled for PowerPC 64 and Spark and Risk 5, but not for this. Um, um, for Detard, it was so, yeah, I mean, of course, it's so Detard writes a combination of flu and a bad cold, the best way he could, could describe it, of course. Um, it can be widely different for, for many people, right? So if it, it's also your immune, age and immune, um, immune system, so certainly what could be mild for one could be totally heavy for someone else and so on. But yeah, also I heard not smoking helps, so never having smoked a cigarette, certainly they're in not the worst shape for that at least. Also I'm massively aging with this, um, massively aging with this. Stupid stuff here. Let's see what we patch already something. Apparently, you can never uh, patch enough. So yeah, this the stuff has gone away because we built it in. Let's um, let's recreate this target and um, pack this ISO. Let's see T2 Linux patch. We patch in here something. Actually, we patch this here too. Um, why does this not work anymore? Ah, come on, build x86. There are too many builds apparently var idm log lab error. Um, so it's trying pub Linux. What the heck is it even? Why is this not even... Oh, here is unknown Linux. Um, so it's doing this MK header stuff for unknown Linux GNU. And what do we patch here? Um, we, we have here unknown Linux. We... Unknown Linux GNU, it looks like we should translate this with this stupid garbage here. I'm really sorry to say this is garbage, but this is really so messed up. I mean, who is writing 
crypto error handling stuff with header generation um, native program execution it's hilarious just wiping all of the stuff that we don't need anymore so create this ISO in the meantime then enable x86 stuff tempf ah tempf has was off already ah, thank you for this also anyway so this ISO is regenerated let's um, let's mount it again mount this ISO and then where is our QEMU let's try to run this again and let's see what happens now with USB stuff built in um, again long story short we need some way to actually interact with this broken garbage UDEF and find out what it doesn't like and what's broken and wrong with it so yeah but we probably still don't have keyboard it looks Um, it says here, actually, what was the, where is also control IG, uh, compact stuff, info, info USB, this is some um, EHCI port, I slightly wonder, can we even, yeah, if you were wondering why some vintage stuff with PS2 is there, just works in case of, uh, don't really, by the way, have we also maybe append where both that maybe we get more print out of what USB uh, PCI stuff is happening there. So yeah, we probably want some, there was USB keyboard mouse. But yeah, I'm so sick and tired of this, oh, oops, also uh, fail of clicking the wrong thing here. Um, doesn't really look we also need to patch this uh, stuff to zoom by default so yeah no keyboard certainly doesn't have the most amazing slightly wonder do we have maybe p what is it is it power not power non virtualized power nv let's see what this firmware is doing uh, what why does this Is funny this doesn't have VGA thank you very much uh, what a fail so probably this is stuff still failing um, maybe we should also for a test rebuild this with we have here somewhere silent which which a few well few patches in the meantime quite some um, silent robust nah. confex kernel cc adb usb md apple arch compile something to be broken set standard nah. why do i not Or maybe it's in the meantime some config option, some silent stuff. Let's see. Um, does it work if you set the console to use open firmware? Which would that be? I tried TTY as zero, that did not work. Um, schools, so uh, yeah, in, in Germany, schools are also closed for Monday and uh, stuff, but it's not like lockdown as in Italy where you shouldn't really use leave the house yet. Um, for Google is uh, following this channel for quite a while. Um, yeah, uh, welcome for watching that. So anyway, um, probably I have here then some architecture shared. Probably here some. Log level of oh, here's log level default something. We probably but why maybe this append doesn't work. Um, so what could 
be the reason for the keyboard not still not working. Bluetooth we don't need. HID raw. Slightly wonder do we need this generic for something? But probably not. Keyboard serial keys config keys. This is something else. Yeah, so we'll probably need to get our x86 build. Yeah, never can fix enough stuff, even the most trivial stuff doesn't. In my opinion, this is also not how it should be done. Um, this, um, uh, yeah, even on a rebuild because it's not generated, it's also, yeah, it's like, it's like, um, like some education of how to do, uh, not not to do stuff because this MK header stuff is piping it probably is it piping it or in yeah piping this and this and also who build fails because it generated an empty file or something here most likely it is empty in my, in my opinion a complete complete stuff or not to do it um, so yeah no such file what is it trying to do here log something Yeah, also this is somewhere else as in source. This, I mean, this is, is such, such hilarious. Um, basically, probably should be. I mean, this is such a fail of this. It's like who is hard coding all this 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 shit like this? It's. I have no words. I I really would like to use some heavy swear words here for this garbage. It's um, it's hilarious. Um, why is it not using that? Besides, it should already not be done like this, like completely not generate this. I mean, what what crappy C codes they have written to do it like this? But once in my life did I require to pre-generate some stupid shit? It's hilarious. Um, so maybe it works, but this is just as a test, if we zoom link lock, if we what did Linux GNU like? Basically, there is a whole so zoom link Z to that was Linux without this pop. I think maybe this and SF. <sighs> yeah, that works. We only need to. It's of course cannot stay like this. Um, we need to find some way why this happens. Uh, darn. Uh, source. Pop Linux GNU stuff. So yeah, so somehow this is using the wrong, why is this not matching? I patched this already to source MK header. I mean, and by the way, if you watch this, never use native, and first of all, never generate your headers like this. And if then not with native binaries like this stupidity, it's, um, it's hilarious. By the way, what is it? It's running this for unknown Linux GNU. And I mean, we patch here, fun fact, we patch this PC Linux GNU, but somehow it doesn't work for some strange reason. X86, unknown Linux GNU. I also slightly wonder what is this ARM stuff doing anyway? Not our issue right now. Um, return a malloc string. Does it malloc that? The stringed up it indeed. Anyway, um, what is it doing there? 
And why does this translation stuff not work? Or is this PC? this work? Can't mix this stuff up to PC, so maybe they don't want PC Linux here. And what did I do? I, I didn't translate it. Hmm. It's such a garbage, can't even make this even. Then people tell me in the comments, I do not make, do not look enough into this issue at hand. Like I've already, if I look any, first of all, if I look any more into this stuff, you couldn't afford it. And if I look any more, then I also throw up soon. I mean, then, then I get here the libgpg error virus. Um, certainly you don't want to have that. Um, so let's see if, if we, what did we do? If we put here T2, or maybe actually we don't need this at all. You know what? Let's let's comment it out um, and see. No, read only file. Have this already open? Let's um, yeah. Let's comment it out because maybe this is contraproductive. No, in the meantime, whatever they changed there. Um, OpenGL. What OpenGL crap? So people WDC started work on thirty two. Hey, this worked. So, lib also have you actually have a second shell. So, lib gpg. Yeah, if, even if you patched it, then next month you need to patch it more. Um, fix lib gpg error to cross compile for x86 64 again because uh, whatever. Yeah, I'm still wondering. So, um, console, detard set console for um, so somehow what could still be missing there? Could we have any PCI module? But probably not. This is probably built in PCI stuff. I mean, fun stuff in our microkernel. Very theoretically, we could have PCI as a loadable subsystem, right? With my vaporware. Micro. Also, uh, yeah, fun fact could make a like micro kernel stream of Im implementing proper file operations for the RISC V firmware. It's usually in the comments below if you even want to see this. Um, the, the irony is, of course, if I make like more interesting for me new code and maybe better educational from scratch RISC V firmware, then less people will watch it if I put P3 and SGI in the title because certainly P3 and Octane. Um, also, fun fact: I'm I'm somewhat. Yeah, if this stuff would finally also, yeah, what is actually right now the only thing that is stopping us from having a completely super nice, amazing build, like everything is built, patched up better than ever in T2, like building mostly like a snap and, and amazing and, and stuff, and the only left, the only broken regression crap left is UDEF because yeah, certainly. Um, in case you're wondering of, of this amazing software quality, but I mean, I could just, maybe I should simply just revert it and, and, and call it a day. Um, of course, this is, is, is it's hilarious. Um, yeah, because I'm actually slightly wondering if I could theoretically, just for the fun of it, try to use the P3 as a daily driver. The only thing is, of course, web browsing, but otherwise, thin clients theoretically could even for the browsing needs um, X11. VNC, uh, RDP, whatever, remote connect to or more uh, stuff. Um, also on, on my tools, P3 with half a gig of memory, certainly browser works better than uh, for you playing along at home on a real tape, re re retail P3, certainly not the most amazing experience with just 256, but otherwise. Um, let's see what is Petrograd. So the only way of getting it to work would be installing Linux and run the N64 emulator. 
no chance of getting it as homebrew game mode application what you're talking about patch ah here yeah. remember a team was working remember a team was working years ago that they stopped think would related because p3 did not support OpenGL. um okay there is also some question actually p3 stuff does the graphic chip support OpenGL? yes of course it does it's a full nvidia um we could if given enough time and money like basically what i try to build this youtube channel because otherwise i can for example i could i said this today on a private discord message i have i think i have all the information needed to implement full open gl like as good as irix sgi irix original gl stack i think i have i have found all the information needed to write a gl um, open gl implementation for linux for the octane for the impact or impact uh, octane and what was the other was it origin uh, was it origin wherever the, the grass um, in, ingress um, impact uh, was also, also installed in so theoretically i could i could sit here now like today and write just for the total historic fun and education and, and youtube fun uh, write an opengl stack for the sgi impact if, if we wanted to but the realities, of course, I mean, I'm the nearly only person who like, certainly there are other people, but I, my impression is they just have it as decoration pieces or like sometimes power them on or maybe sometimes use them with IRIX. I'm probably maybe the nearly last person who's using an SJ Octane in like production as in usable state as in with modern Linux ecosystem. Um, and uh, yeah so it certainly doesn't make that much sense to invest like six months of uh, human resources of my time uh, writing an OpenGL stack for an impact board that only probably i myself will ever use um for the p3 of course given the amount of people who constantly share like and subscribe to p3 videos certainly the amount of people who want to use this on uh, linux on the p3 is higher um actually it is not that difficult theoretically the rsx the nvidia rsx is uh, let's fact, fact check this because i constantly forget this um the rsx i have this here in the patch at architecture to have it at hand um that is package linux here in something of uh, rsx what do we have a frame buffer so in one of those patches i have some information and it was not this one uh, there it's probably 0020 i added there some information um then it's also not this one maybe uh, which one would it be then i also details or maybe it was in cursor at, at least i remember one of those patches somewhere darn where would this be grab e nvidia of all these patches of uh, there it is ah, 600 was it not what i opened um, oh, maybe this was even what I opened. So in the last patch, um, I even added the information. So the P3 RSX, the reality uh, synthesizer something, is based on NVIDIA NV47. So this is NVIDIA GeForce 7800 um, plus a couple of... So this is basically very theoretically, you could take Novo, 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 um, the open source, stuff and nearly run it. The only problem is that the hypervisor access is a little bit different. Um, but very theoretically, we could take Novo, Novo, um, how even Novo, what is even, ah, darn, I hate, I hate this project name that most international people have it hard to pronounce. Translate, this was um, XF, I think I usually say no. no. Um, so that would be also not Spanish, but detect language of French. And how do they want this of uh, Nouveau? Uh, Nouveau, 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 Nouveau. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm not supporting random names that nobody can pronounce. Anyway, so the complication is, um, previously there was no hypervisor access that now with the custom firmware you can run. I certainly run nowadays since this YouTube videos. Um, a decade ago, when I was already running this, when the original people got this with, because initially, like in 2007 or so, the, the, the clever hack, hackers and crackers found some security vulnerability, right? So even I was among the few people 
who run this. Um, and I even left my FAT P3 on this firmware. This was 2.10 or something. Um, 15, nearly soon, 13, 13 years or whatever ago, 12 years ago. And I even intentionally didn't update because Sony patched this certainly. So because um, when those clever people found to, to run, to access the command field for and stuff of the RSX, certainly Sony patched this and it was a little bit tricky to use. Um, nowadays we are now running since the custom firmware then later when people became so pissed that Sony r removed other OS and cracked it open again which totally you, you guys really rocked amazing stuff um, and in retrospect I should have be but back in the day I was busy running this company and wasn't that interesting but back in the day when I, when I was red I should have immediately like probably 10 years ago the problem is 10 years ago I was busy with all the other stuff um, trying to run a company embedded Linux stuff and, and whatnot. And, um, but in retrospect, I should have taken the FAT P3 out of the basement and it it, it like instantly custom firmware that. Um, and then, it, because then we would have had this in amazing shape and people wouldn't run for a decade red ribbon garbage stuff. Um, and yeah, in retrospect, I should have immediately, ten, a decade ago, jumped on it immediately and, and have this in. But probably I also was like, um, depressed already from the completely instable state of MIP64 Octane stuff from 2006 and probably like at that time I decided okay I stop spending my time on random fixing random Linux stuff because nobody is thinking it anyway and probably in retrospect I should also start at YouTube already if I would have probably done this a decade ago on YouTube and probably anyway uh, so much to lesson learned uh, do stuff uh, do more fun stuff earlier anyway or something of that sort anyway um, so yeah, theoretically we could have OpenGL. Um, I could actually, what would be cool, um, and yeah, also coming to this channel sometime soon, um, I'm going back a little bit to basics with um, not only RISC-V, certainly quite some stuff running here already. So sometime soon I have a Reva TNT2 or something from my brother's of basement found, uh, because it wasn't my car, this is, I think maybe even an AGP card or so. Um, so, and I certainly have not only the ATI Rage and Radeon, I have a couple of ATI cards, um, PCI and AGP, and of course in the previous video, G4 Cube. And what I want to do, similar to what I've done already in previous videos, the low level stuff, I've done low level for Cyrus Logic, for t ET4000, for the S3 Verge, for the Voodoo, this low level DOS code of doing this low-level graphic acceleration and I want to do this for NVIDIA, like old-fashioned classic vintage NVIDIA um, of, of this uh, TNT2 um, and what, whatever that was in uh, NV2 or actually we could fact check that. Um, NVIDIA TNT2 or this was like Viva, what do you even pronounce this in English? Viva, whatever. Ah, NV5. This was even already freaking NV5. Amazing stuff. Um, so this I should have here in my vintage boxes. Um, and so what I want to do is have, similar to the Verge Voodoo that I've done already, also for our microkernel and fun stuff and my fun and your education and hopefully fun too, have the same low level stuff. And this also helps us with the P3 better understand how to program this because the NVIDIA stuff is in my opinion a little bit strange to program. Um, they have really strange object stuff actually um, that is a little bit counterintuitive um, how other hardware works. So coming sometime soon, maybe later this summer or this winter, uh, taking out um, ATI card here from my vintage box, uh, the, the TNT2, and write in a couple of afternoons or a weekend, write this low-level code because actually this TNT programming is exactly the same or similar in concept, no, not exactly the same but quite similar that you could also see if you scroll through the uh, Novo. Uh, I forgot already the pronunciation, darn it. Can't make this stuff up. Uh, no. um, not Spanish, so why is it back to Spanish? Um, what was it? No, uh, oh, darn, I need to. Uh, nu nu Novo, obviously, I need to learn French, darn it. Uh, this Novo. Um, uh, code is if you look into the open source code of this, you will see the similarities of all the architectures pretty similar. Maybe even the the base concept is even still on the latest and greatest NVIDIA silicon still similar. Maybe, 
But yeah, certainly this is not in general a nice historic computer chronicle documentation of how the, how the stuff works. So this is coming my plan um, Nuvo, uh, so NVIDIA, Reva, TNT stuff, ATI, Rage, something, Radeon, and probably most likely even Matrox. And um, yeah, uh, also fun fact, I, I will, I said this before, I will sort this in my microkernel repository stuff. So this will even be some readable C++ example stuff for this to come. Um, so people discuss there, so, um, but yeah, this stuff is super much work. Why is it so much work? It's, it's the, the biggest problem with the uh, Sony, Nvidia, RSX thing is that as soon as the GPU doesn't like something, like like a page fault, like a memory fault, or some invalid instruction, or whatever the case might be, we get an GPU exception, we get an interrupt that is handled by the kernel driver. It gets this exception like GPU exception. Uh, some of the state we, this of course other people have reverse engineered this and the state that it is printed out there, the, the Linux driver even has with our patches here of, of oops, wrong focus here of this patches, they even have handling for that. And unfortunately, um, the state that is printed out there when, when this exception occurs doesn't make the most sense to me. The state is not really consistent. And the biggest problem of all is that we need to reboot then. I have not found, I tried already multiple days off without YouTube. There you see, you just want even pro producing some proper YouTube content and um, not to live stream all random garbage here. I invested already multiple afternoons looking into how to recover. I've, I've not yet found a way how to recover. I tried multiple stuff. So I would hope there is a means to recover from this GPU exception. I didn't found any. Maybe Sony even didn't have any. Um, maybe they saw it in, in a game it shouldn't happen. So because a game, like a re retail game, shouldn't trigger this GPU exception, they don't have a means to recover. I don't know. Um, but maybe we will find out one day. But uh, here's, by the way, the UTF, UTF garbage that still has uh, so much trouble. Um, you see, this is similar to this UTF stuff. Um, um, just updating some stuff and will weekend gone with this stupidity. Um, So here, um, people still discuss their CPU, 65 for two or something. Anyway, so yeah. Um, basically, but so this build is soon, but the this, this sad thing is just building, it doesn't fix something, right? So this, this build here that we are 97 to go on. Uh, well, except the Linux kernel, which, yeah. I mean, thankfully this, this Ryzen, um, builds us quite fast. We could probably, we could, um, other stuff that I'm waiting for is actually fixed here most of this stuff. All right, also we can close this because now. Yeah. I'm also waiting for LLVM Clang to release their new latest crap uh, shit. And so that would be LLVM wonder what they break for us to fix. Um, this is still not released, I guess, or is it upcoming? Does no, it's not yet released. So yeah, slightly, uh, I also wanted to check, let's check which Radeon we have, for example, in the cube. So the problem is, is I said this before, and you have seen maybe the, the previous videos, the nice fancy cube I have here that is also broken on Linux. And no surprise, right? Everything you touch is broken. Or actually, wait a second, not we, everything someone else touches breaks. And uh, did I not even, uh, maybe I didn't even update this yet. Huh? Um, yeah, this is original rage, darn it. Um, Crap. Um, which Radeon would this be in this cube? So much to having my own text updated here. I think this was a 7400 probably. 
where is it here was my video video um, because this is also to be fixed you're already on seven oh, wait a second this is already on why did I, do I even say this when we are looking into in video so much to mixing all this stuff up um, so this was NV7800, do I have something like this? I have some... I have something for the G5... Uh, oh yeah, right, for the G... Wait a second, what do we have in the G5? In the G5 I have some Nova uh, NVIDIA... NVIDIA G4 6600 NV43 and this is a little bit, I mean it's not too far off. I actually have a slightly newer card for that. Um, what was this? This was a GeForce. I think I made a YouTube video about the trying to even power this on in a Even with the PCI extender thing. Googling my own videos to see what exactly that was. Uh, yeah. Here is this one. I should list more details even. Anyway, you get the idea. Because of the, the point of this is we can compare and test. Oh, also this failed because... No. Just cross-compile AMD64 for testing. Um, ETC group, no such file directory. So much to that fun. Um, so maybe we should just um, waste, well, wasted our time here with this anyway. So th this file I only added to get rid of some warnings because otherwise UDEF, even the old version of UDEF spits out so many warnings of uh, group doesn't exist, blah blah blah. And um, yeah. So probably just building the Linux kernel a little bit later will fix this. So so much to you just add the etc groups to the initrd to avoid some warnings and then the build breaks because the file isn't there. With the small little details. So uh, Mr. Bonk just still discusses this SAC CPU. I slightly wonder, so you made it 64-bit and stuff and 6502, but so you're not really worried about performance, right? Because with one, one accumulator, uh, it probably not talking the highest performance, right, and not uh, keeping it so simple that you don't have a re register file, I guess. Probably performance not your topmost priority, I guess. Um, so yeah, which um, card, so this is GeForce, actually, wait a second, this could very theoretically be somewhat what I have in the old, um, old MacBook, though. So that would be hardware, mobile, Apple, old Mac Pro garbage of this. What was this here? NVIDIA of the unknown device. Thank you very much. Um, but maybe that is pretty close. This is 8600. Oh, maybe it's a little bit newer, huh? Yeah, so much to you. You avoid it. You have a couple of those. Um, it's a little bit newer, so need something in between there. But yeah, whatever. I think I have the last Apple G5 um, G4. What was this? 
here, something of that sort, make addition, something of that I have what to say, hey, maybe this is even, yeah, I don't have the office shelves unlocked. Um, so writing N64 emulator GameOS is probably, so emulator, so it depends, so Patrick asks, um, emulator. Running a homebrew game is probably easier because it's more tested and more infrastructure and you have um, an emulator to test against the RPC S3 emulator there. And uh, also, by the way, look at this beauty, right? I mean, of all the regressions and failing, I mean, this, this stuff is for the most part in T2 just chumming, humming along here and cross-compiling all this stuff here, really beauty. Um, homebrew is maybe easier and um, so N64 you ask uh, spec. So it, it depends what system requirements this stuff has. Um, so N64 is this in Nintendo 64 hardware specifications. Um, so hardware specification wise, this looks like it should be no problem to emulate. The question is what is the emulator doing? Um, in homebrew it might be easier because of a better pre-existing infrastructure. And I said this before, maybe I even turn to the homebrew infrastructure of libraries and testing, maybe also even testing, like using the homebrew uh, infrastructure to compile test programs, to test RSX stuff and run it in the PS RPCS3 emulator. And, um, and also maybe read the source code of this emulator to get better knowledge and understanding and stuff. Um, so what is uh, what is the open source emulator? There is one, right? Was there one? Um, is it this one? Not sure. So I think one went closed source, right? Um, oh, always is. Yeah, something failed. Oh, this is uh, Intel failing off. Thank you very much. All oh, right, this is only this is building from source, and maybe we simply to avoid this. I'm I'm not going to the stupid stuff. It needs because it's from Git. It because yeah, Intel people so lazy they don't even you can't even design bug-free CPUs and certainly not um, update their XOR driver. So yeah, it needs this util macro stuff. So remove to cross. Like from X sixty video Intel as it needs XOR macros, yeah, whatever. Wait a second, so many six thousand drop frames. Yeah. Uh, not amazing. Probably everyone sitting at home watching Netflix now. That certainly limits our. Although it's. Only also, but I decreased already the bitstream here. Um, so yeah, I think theoretically it should be possible. Um, it should certainly be possible. The only question is how efficient can you make this? Um, actually, as much as we often our T2 package repository is the best source of a lot of stuff. So N64 are here some uh, this maybe. And not sure how up to date it is, or 529 uh, is the latest. Uh, Google code that looks outdated. You can get it from GitHub site. So let's see if the Hello can also load this, or is this Doxus cable completely overloaded? Hey, updated 15 hours ago, and that looks recent though. Um, So, yeah, um, but to, to port this, um, as Mr. Bunk writes there, they are dynamically recompiling this to x86 here somewhere. So uh, you also would need to port here some just-in-time comp com compilation goodness of, uh, of something. Probably they don't have support for too much. Also, something failed. <laughs> this is probably, yeah, probably we could import here something. It's 
probably already fixed here in some CGIT. But yeah, as, by the way, the, the, past, the, the task would be huge, but um, feel free to do it. Certainly a nice challenge, probably. Certainly need, needs quite some expert knowledge, but nothing that you couldn't learn if you meditate some years and months about it. Yeah, so stuff is slow here also, yeah, loading here. Let's see, can we hotfix this also? Not that I would be the super most... I, do I even have SES hardware here left? Good old days, I had SES hardware three months ago of version bump. Um, what do we have this version bumped or video SES 12.1? Hey, there is an update, but it's not coming down. Where do they... Where did they store it? So maybe there is a new version that wherever they have it. So apparently not here, I guess. 12, no, thank you very much for tagging a release and... Yeah. Otherwise, we need to pull it out of Git, maybe. So, are we compiling here or...? No, we are there. Thank you very much. Oh, this, by the way, probably all Mason related because... Uh, Mason, Manson, because even... I always forget Mason. Yeah, not amazing build systems, of course, uh, changing defaults because why should stuff be compatible? Uh, probably not too much to go here. 56, probably soon through. I mean, all, all of this test building just... Uh, and then we also... We have here another... I, yesterday at the other long stream, we have another issue still, MK, that some of the files are not getting into the F list. Partially already debugged yesterday. There, we have this issue here. Also, it's this for a couple of more packages, like tires, ship. Can't make this stuff up. Yeah, whatever that is, I have no idea which stupid system call this is here. What does tar use for installation? So yeah, it doesn't help as much if packages are missing files because new system calls. Um, So this is one tar. How did it install the binary of install? So wrapper install. This shouldn't be too bad. Why would this not work? Using some whatever system call. Hmm. No, Vim is failing. Why does Vim not fail for... Did we not fix this recently again? And why did it not build for... Um, do we build another... What do we build here? Config? F fix this already multiple times in the meantime. Or did we forgot to commit this? Hmm. Once we had an issue here of cache creation and all oh, right, we we config script. How, what was the deal? We I recently moved here some code around. Earlier, this was in So not the most cleanest to have here. Preconf 
cross this in wait a second this anyway should not be in here did i not recently fix this it's a little bit unclean to depend on this um machine did I do this and why did I not commit this auto configure so oh, wait a second we oh, we built this R because maybe it's building this twice we had there some stuff to build stuff twice that's probably the reason I slightly wonder what we are building here some more probably because this is minimal x org what was the poor pc64 build minimal x org why does it build something else why well, okay whatever don't need wind for now fix this another day Uh, just quickly builds the stuff. Oh, there's always so much stuff broken. I slightly wonder how could this build uh, Vim? Vim is enabled though. Did this build or not? Did build for poor PC? What? Oh, wait a second. some reason so features huge auto probably that is somewhere huge auto oh, looks quite similar so oh wait here is vim to binaries that is why is one enabled and one not i have no idea I need to fix this another day this is some decade old feature of even having this optimized for vim and gvim so let's see alpha transparency so would it be great to see running and do you guys think yeah w would be great but it's huge work um because as we have seen they do some just in time compilation so they dynamically recompile the mips instructions um to native x86 code and of course it still fails i don't ever touch this so it's huge work would be cool it's huge work the issue is also so if you do this homebrew then yeah, you have also quite some challenges, certainly this is a JIT just-in-time code generation. I mean, in, in either case, many challenges, certainly why people gave up this, this kind of, yeah, outstanding project, but a lot of work, which, yeah, often outstanding projects are a lot of work. Also more citrus water stuff. And... Um, yeah, the issue on the Linux side also, we would first need to write our OpenGL stack and then you also would need to um, port, still port the, the just-in-time code generation stuff. Um, probably it's easier if you wanted to, you could take an Apple Mac, Power Mac and run Linux, which, yeah, for so theoretically, but in, in any case, share, like and subscribe. Um, theoretically, it would be cool to do such projects, for example, G5, we have a G4 cube, a G5 tower, and theoretically we could use to uh, port this in, in general. And RSX, OpenGL, we anyway need someday. But yeah, um, maybe one day, let's see what we will do in the future here. Um, but um, yes, yeah, the, the thing is, of course, people not only want to see PS3, but also in general. Um, 
always the latest and greatest AAA and, and famous stuff because otherwise we could also do here some fun Pac-Man and um, Tetris and stuff on the Risk v which maybe actually would have been more efficient to do this here on um, in another window. But yeah. Yeah, but in, in any case, uh, people can take a look, leave comments below if you take a look into all this uh, N64 emulation stuff. Let us know below. Um, I in, in, genu in general, we will continue soon with some just in time. We have already some hundred lines of code of proof of concept showing you how, this, how simple this can be in general. And of course, not only QEMU with TG, TCG, but also many emulators use JIT, uh, also Dolphin and other fancy emulators or, or the P3 ones or PCS3. And um, so yeah, in general, it's not that difficult. You just need to know the instruction set and know what you're doing. Um, and then a lot, lots of, really lots of ton of guru meditation. And yeah, we will anyway con continue with just-in-time compilation stuff because I want my own super readable, maintainable, just-in-time compiling stuff. And um, this is certainly something I have on my to-do list to do live on the P3 and SG Octane for PowerPC and MIPS. 64 goodness. Um, so yeah, we are coming to an end with at least the build. The, the sad thing is now we have done here all this building that it still will fail. So yeah, if this finally builds here, we still have... Uh, also, yeah, um, those, the Graver and others do run the latest OpenSSH for some reason. Um, on this workstation, the latest OpenSSH version is dropping connection. Not, I started to debug this, not really sure what's going on there. Maybe again some sec comp, or who knows what. So yeah, 19 to go. This is relatively quickly, we are live streaming. Um, of course, with 4.3% drop frames, 8,000 drop frames because the garbage docks this. Vodafone cable internet, not amazing stuff. Certainly now everyone sitting at home watching video on demand stuff. Uh, there's even your yeah, live two hours, so yeah, there's lots, lots of interruptions. Um, the problem is, would want to. All right, we, st we anyway, uh, we have. So many missing files now. I mean, probably we will just rebuild this. Also, this is also really unexpected. This issue. So we have all of those missing here. For example, this are all mostly glibc. So, or if you were, oh, thank you very much. So let's quickly rebuild, uh, quickly, quickly. First of all, let's, let's rebuild all the bin stuff that's missing. Somehow in the second, not really sure why on the second build. So probably it's using some whatever. Yes, this are exactly no surprise as it's using the same technology, missing the same package files like, uh, like the poor PC build. Just somehow rebuilding fixes us, so most likely because the file is there. Previous video yesterday, super boring, garbage. Um, yeah, just rebuilding fixes it, at least it did. SED, let's see. Yeah, rebuilding fixes this as expected. Um, and then also glibc, this is relatively, well, of course on a ultra spark or P3 this would build for one hour or two or three. In the meantime with all this bloat. So you yeah, have SUC with all this regressions and failing and stuff not amazing and then even libgpgcrypt header stuff. This is exactly where I want to build some more modern uh, infrastructure. The problem is if I spend you so much time fixing this vintage garbage code of other people failing left and right faster than I can fix it. Uh, it's it's Spending the time, I then don't have to write new amazing code. You could 
do here so much stuff better. I slightly wonder, can we build in, although we, we are probably soon, yeah, right now configure, not, not amazing. But um, I slightly wonder, should it work? And I'm sometimes not sure, previous times I've not done this so often, if this would be quite some waste of cycles if this clobbers each other log files, but actually it shouldn't. So we can already build Linux here and actually fun fact, we can rebuild um, So this rebuilding is only because of some strange system call stuff. I need to debug another clean build. Why this happens? So super annoying to debug this because you can only debug this once and the, the file is installed. Actually, you can remove it, but really strange stuff. What could this be? It could probably be, maybe this stupid stuff is, is still the, st the same rename at two system call of last night's video. Uh, would make the most sense. Probably still some issue there with that. Um, user bin, let's see what other, so we have, so this is all glibcy stuff, so this is all glibcy. Mm. This doesn't look too bad, uh, user lib of, yeah, this is all, maybe this glibcy and then we are mostly done and we can finally, well, continue wasting our time testing udev stuff. So yeah, glibcy finished because epic in the horizon build uh, can double check that off it's also in the wrong tmux so this would be user lib Actually, this is not yet fixed for some reason. GFC is finished, so why would this still not be in there? The problem, oh, wait a second. But no, this, oh, right, this is the wrong GFC. Oh, darn it. But anyway, probably we, um, because we have two for multi-lib, uh, also not 64, but 32, hello. So yeah, that's the issue. Um, actually, this reminds me, probably we should check. So the, the biggest issue, except like having the ISO for you to distribute, is that uh, this is also what we expected. Due to Linux and whatnot, um, is that the ISO creation will fail if the files are not correctly registered in the um, in this data ASC, plain text ASCII database files. So yeah, what annoying issues to debug, but most likely, well, I mean, theoretically, what is, I slightly wonder what is, or maybe this is a system install, that would be, this is core utils, what did we had yesterday, was it? But core utils, yesterday we updated this, right? And there's it has rename it. Of course it has. So maybe this is rename it related after all still, although we spent already last light, light on um, tracking this. Yeah, for those interested in the temperatures, uh, probably I didn't, didn't even load the temperatures. Huh? But, uh, so 78, yeah, getting warmer, quite some load. 78 degree here with, with quite some load on the AMD Ryzen 1350X. Exactly what you need for building all this stuff. So Linux is still building after we load it, usually six minutes or so on this epic Ryzen here, but with all those glibc and util Linux in parallel. So we still have no lib64 left. Let's double check the user. Lib crypto, this is probably in. I had the same in 
yeah, lo nicely loading the course so that they have something to do and keep the office warm. Yeah, it's a little bit of the Lewis Rossman of, of software repair, right? Poking in all the assembly and and stuff and um, looking into the schematics of all the source code programs here and stuff also failing uh, on a similar rate. Um, Oh, by the way, if the tart is still here, I should have actually asked him now that I remember, but probably really long tuned out after so much random. Um, he could have recomm recommended a proper open source compatible wireless SS point router thing, but now I ordered something already after I didn't really found that amazing stuff. Also, why is oh, this is a Linux kernel? Um, why did this now fail still? Oh, wait a second, this is, this is not so right one, build x86, cross radian log one Linux of this sort. But, or this is, is this dev mod or it's still ETC group, are you freaking kidding me? So this would have been long built already. Hmm. A little bit time wasted. How many was this building Linux in 20 some of this? Oh, this is the wrong header. Okay, let's finish last builds. Still need two. So still as, as many small also oh, this is the wrong. So I'm gonna rebuild Linux just now once this ETC groups file finally. But yeah, after still yeah, ETC group also if you voice I don't want this no. Also, then what is it if you yeah, let's just if you boot and just stuff will also fail then. Yep. Yeah, but some of people not the most thread with my um, with my risk five UL X3 FPGA work really curious. I personally would find the risk five from scratch firmware stuff more thrilling than this old decade old open source stuff. Slightly wonder should we first write a Pac-Man for the risk five or some Tetris? Probably Tetris is easier. Huh? Yeah but as usual people maybe right now quite many people watching Vote in the comments below what you want to see most here working with this retro vintage hardware stuff, P3, Octane, SGI, or similar stuff, or modern modern from scratch firmware, RISC-V, microkernel, games, you name it. Uh, yeah, this is also failed already and others is was somewhat known also here. I think this only happens because we rebuilt Grub here from autoconf stuff. Don't really do we need this? Oh wait a second, we boot. Ah oh, darn, we would need this actually because now oh, darn SM US core. Maybe we can if there's no expression. Uh, maybe we patch this somewhere. Oh, let's uh, wait a second. I think we probably need grub two. Um Mr. Bong also says screen editor, uh, you mean text editor, right? Uh, what is screen editor? You mean text editor? And if so, for what? What assembler for what? For what should I write an assembler now? For just in time compilation stuff or? Um, do we have the. Oh, darn, did I currently close this? Do we have probably not temp of this right now? Yeah. Maybe we can somehow quickly YOLO that somehow. What is US core even fixed file? Is it US USB core? Mm, the 
something like if def maybe is this generated from hmm. not really sure if that is resulting in some working file though rx um, so you're talking risk five then right or so you're you're asking to write a risk five assembler and but in my opinion writing assembler in 2020 not the most amazing um, i would much rather define an own amazing language and have this just in time compiled and, and not write assembly from scratch my opinion is this mostly too much time spent for not much uh, reason um, here's some linking relocation stuff mix up mm. thank you very much not cool let's see if this patches I have no idea if this file is generated or if it works uh, also probably we have we have run this wrong Yeah, you are asking me, but what what are you asking me to write? Uh, so R this RX32 system is RISC RISC five, right? So you you probably asking me to write RISC five assembly. If I got this right, um, why is this now failing? What the heck? How can this even fail now? Why is this? doing some Python stuff. Are you freaking kidding me? For what reason? I started to build more previously. What is happening now? Hmm. Certainly not fun stuff. <sighs> Why does always everything need to fail? The issue is so... Idea. And why does it happen now after I have a hotfix patch here? Welcome, Devi. Um, yeah, so, uh, thankfully for me, this, is, this title is a little bit clickbait, although motivating people in quarantine or, or around the world. Things are pretty good in Berlin. Uh, hope you all are doing fine. Uh, where were you? Were you Devi US or UK or Australia? Canada, I forgot, sorry. Um, but now this also fails. So between a second and now this fails differently. That is hilarious. And unfortunately, we need a bootloader to boot the ISO. Um, oh, well, it's okay. All right, so UK experiment of not doing much. I figure how how do you like the UK response? Doesn't sound the most amazing. Um, why is this doing here some Python stuff? I have so no idea. Hmm. Um, Ah, uh, Canada, Toronto was there the other year. It was pretty well there. I got super sick at the Niagara, Niagara Falls, so somewhat like nearly COVID-19. Maybe this was already COVID-19. I was pretty sick after the Niagara Falls. Um, darn, what the freaking heck is even going on there? Uh, 
filters with extras that we even see what's going on there. Bauer Johnson prioritizes economy, billionaire friends over people's lives. What? When did you go to Niagara Falls? That was last year when we had this vlog there of uh, ISO conference. So I have some YouTube video even of uh, that vlog. Um, so what is it evaluating? So this is Autogen. Thank you very much for that stuff. Um, why is this failing now? Which Python is it even trying to run? This is so sad. I mean, I could probably try to disable this. We only do this for the Apple EFI stuff. So probably if we just YOLO that here in terms of... I really wonder why I'm probably something touched something in my system now. Uh, welcome everyone there. So yeah, let's see, probably without autogen, it's probably better. Probably also, we probably can rerun this Linux thing here. Now that we prob hopefully have this file. How did I run this? Okay, can run this parallel. Trying to use function of Linux frame buffer, but didn't find the definition of her, what? Hmm. I think this is already my second hot water refill of my hot citrus stuff, so probably if I refill it once more, it will be quite not really Not really much taste left in this hot citrus. Um, multi B, but yeah, it can't really help you too much there, unfortunately, with this stuff. So, what do we have now failing in? Um, probably it's failing crap bios. No, why is this failing so strangely? This is not fun. Undefined reference to grub main in France. Oh, come on. Probably not cross compiling correctly. Um, Really sick and tired of failing build error. So I slightly wonder we could YOLO that though and give two cents of a shit of the ISO and just just loads the init rd and probably have working keyboard because it's ps2 um, yeah but just for you as a reference um, what can possibly go wrong usually a lot fortunately so probably we can so if the linux kernel build in a moment Probably want hot water though.
Stück so. And the good old theme of getting faster to some arrows. Certainly the x86 with KVM can also run this faster. So that would be kernel something and init already something as soon as we have this finished and uh, yeah really a pity that this year but so Perl Python Grub2 and uh, iffy var stuff also cross compiling issues to tweak as well. with body tasting them and a little bit of honey that's all we're getting here <sighs> yeah I should not have touched this you this stuff so many hours wasted yeah it's a pity that so many people want to see p3 stuff yeah I should really not have touched this you shit this is so wasteful shit so much time wasted so much rather would do some risk five microkernel stuff. But somehow I'm nearly the only one who wants to see that, I guess. I have actually mode setting code in e screen. Do we have e screen? Probably this has mode setting. Or did I use X was I know we used if X was okay fine then maybe not. Ah here, maybe we have I saw FB dev FBIO get screen info and set screen info. That's how you're doing it. In case you were wondering. So this Linux build. Then let's Target. Let's run the rest of the target. Uh, so without crop two, because now nah. so there should not be much left. Zero to go apparently. So. What do we have you know in terms of ISO generation? Uh, mod tab of that probably oh, thank you very much. That doesn't build this. Uh, no, we're not getting the second stage built because first it wants to build the bootloader stuff. Uh, it's always something. It's a file. Let's see if that if we are super lucky. Unfortunately not. This is in an else statement apparently. Let's 
Let's make that group two, then we can YOLO that better. Just ignoring that we will not have a bootloader, I just want to load this directly. Nah, oh, no, okay, fine, fair enough. Nah, come on. The ISO, what the heck? Where is it coming from? And let's just okay. Nothing you can't lull you a little bit. Um, yeah, BFK Anthony. Anthony asks, uh, says, happy to see me working on this again. So did we, uh, why does it not have creating output images? Why did it not do a stage? Okay, this is a grub stuff. Um, did we, wait a second. Uh, why? Why is this, where is this hard-coded stuff coming from? Did it build what? What the heck? Uh, is this a failure or... Where is this coming from? Uh, what? Super old Lilo stuff in there. Hmm. Just because we don't have a bootloader, can we build in here grub? Does this old garbage still build? Because then I just switch it to grub. Wouldn't be surprised if this partly touched legacy code still builds because the, the less I touch it, the more it usually still builds. Just test it quickly, nothing builds anymore. Well, although I could have, maybe I shouldn't have cross-built this, of course, x86, we could have. Yeah, that even cross builds amazing stuff. Um, so yeah, maybe, delete this here, delete this here, and let's switch this to, oh, we have some crop already. Or did I, wait a second. Or this is where it was coming from. Why did I put crop in there? Okay, fine. Oh, we have it. What it is? So I might tweak this again. This is why this was over wondering where these functions came from. So now we're getting the inner ID that I was waiting for. Yeah, even takes single single thread stuff. 1350x. Let's hope this stuff runs all through. Size optimization for the P3, and then ISO. Mount this. But yeah, uh, in theory, of course, this is all stuff that should be fixed, just like, yeah, so much work. And, and, and also you can test at home, right, if you want to support this, even t test this on x86. And, Fixes so probably what kernel was error loading uncompressed kernel. No. X86 stuff. So finally something. Uh, why is this? Oh, this is maybe just too little memory. Was it also? So far, so good. Let's see what this. But the problem is now we spend so much time. So, so yeah, here's it works. Um, 
I really wonder though what state. So on the if I boot this on the P3, I get lots of random garbage. So but here we at least have some device nodes. But the problem is probably we have not a single module loaded, I guess. No, we have some modules loaded. Okay, but some are actually hard coded loaded. I seriously wonder though why we get so much garbage on the PS3 because if I boot on the PS3 I get complete like literally excessive garbage printed out. I guess all of those because probably we have here some module loading. I'm pretty sure most likely this is yeah, I can't easily plug in here now. Um, can we have here apparently dev block? Is this dev block? But it's also not etc udev. I mean, this looks much better than. Check do we have all the UDF files in here? By the way, I slightly wonder do we need this helper stuff or do we have maybe UDF doesn't work with this helper stuff? It's, it's also here yeah, for this you would need to completely debug all this stuff. We have SEDN UDEV print. We have UDEV running. So far, so good. But I'm pretty sure it's not not auto matching loading kernels. Let's check the modules. At least we have some module aliases so far, so good. Can we mod probe some something? Let's test that. If we mod probe here some CDC or just an interface, okay, at least it still works. Okay, this does not look the worst. Uh, somehow it looks a little bit better than on the P3. I'm pretty sure. Let's um, probably we don't have grep here. Huh? So dn mod print init. Um, yeah, so we have here four something. So we have here some forced mod probe of this. So most likely the issue is also certainly that we don't have keyboards. So this module probing completely doesn't work. So this is uh, UDEV. Otherwise it works a little bit. Also, yeah, they now have built in module loading as in it needs KMOD. Yeah, also, yeah, this is why we switched also among other reasons, not only that GNOME Desktop needed. Um, GNOME Desktop stuff. Oops. GNOME Desktop stuff needed a new UDEV, and the new UDEV needed KMOD for built-in module loading. I think very much that was an amazing achievement because it doesn't even freaking work anymore. Um, so yeah, lots of time spent. Um, maybe not in the best way. Um, not the most progress. At least a couple of stuff build regression wise fixed. Um, somehow not so really the progress I was hoping for. Um, I said it before, where do I have my, do I not have a Firefox left? Um, quite some small stuff. Um, I also need to automate this even more. Do I not have a, did you something? By the way, we, we generated something, right? Did we generate a whole ESO? ISO? Probably should be bootable. We could try maybe also with n able KVM. Hmm. 
Yeah, this is an old crop loader that still works. Um, yeah, you also would need to write the simulation software. Not only just uh, doesn't help much if what is it going kernel panic of what is this you know came in cache unlock what have we done how can this not work module loading why is this not killing in it what the heck is going on there let's run this slower without KVM But here we have, ah, oh, it's unpacking this. Do we run out of memory? Or, wait a second, it's unpacking this and, no, something doesn't work. Something like maybe dynamic library missing. Uh, fun stuff. What could be there missing now? Yeah, this is not small for now. Uh, so much failure. This is, but this is also in general really depressing. We fixed so much in Novi. Couple of updates broke so much. I think after solving this, I will not touch this for quite a while. So the issue is we can't even test, due to the size optimization of the P3 stuff, we can't even nicely test this. Because we delete the files additionally in the init RD. Also here is this in there, although should this not be in the inner already? We could try if we... This is anyway always deleted, so we could set standard decompress. Oh, wait a second, second stage. Small. Set standard decompress. Um, do we have, where do we have this here in? This is probably CPIO in. So, but this works, SH works. Um, why does it fail then in the... Ah, that is really not fun. I just had everything fixed. Can't make this stuff up. Anyway, gotta go, continue another day. At least a little bit stuff achieved, a little bit stuff fixed, um, stuff prepared to debug. I hope you enjoyed this, learned something. As usual, leave in the comments below what you want to see, what vintage retro um, stuff or modern stuff or RISC-V firmware games and uh, so on. 
hope you learned something and uh, stay positive and stay healthy and get healthy and stuff. And I hope to see you soon for all the next videos and fun hacking and hunting regressions and stuff to come.